Praise God. Praise God. Good morning, everyone. I pray that you are having a blessed day. It is raining here. So, hat day. But anywho, God bless you. Good morning. Today is the second day of the Daniel fast. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We're not just fasting to fast. Come on, somebody. It's not a weight loss thing. It is fasting for our cities, fasting for our states, fasting for this country, fasting for the world, fasting for families, fasting for those unsolved murders. You heard me. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It is time to pray like never before. Um, you know, my daughter is an educator. Um, she's worked at Spelman and also in the colleges here. Well, not only that, the high schools as well. And it broke my heart to hear that just the other day they had a drive by and a family just driving their car by and these two cars are having a shootout here in Atlanta and it hits a baby and kills the baby. It's prayer time. It's been praying time. It's been, I'm going to say it again, it's been praying time. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. It is time for us to pray like never before. I don't care what anyone says. Money, honey, and funny, status, um, status, everything is not above what we're mandated to do. What are we mandated to do? We're mandated to pray. We're mandated to fast. We're mandated. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. That's what we're mandated to do. Everything else, it is what it is. Because at the end of the day, it's about souls. It's about souls. I'm going to say that again. The heart of God is souls. It's not money, not honey, not funny, not status, not titles, souls. Hallelujah. God wants to know, is that person saved? If they die today, if they die the next hour, the next minute, the next second, are they going to see me? Come on, somebody. What am I saying? It's time to be about our father's business in this last hour for real. Ministry is real. Ministry is not about just looking good, feeling good, having money. Ministry is about souls. And people are hurting in this hour. I'm going to come back and do a whole... God, man, that's one thing I love about fasting. When I fast, I think everybody when they fast, truly fast, something happens. There's a shift. And I'm going to come back later on this afternoon and what I have to say, this is going to be a very powerful live. It's going to be powerful. It's going to be cutting too, because it cut me. I don't think people understand. As preachers, as leaders, we get cut first. Come on. We get cut first. We get cut first as you preach that thing, as you teach that thing, as you reach people. Because you, how can you deliver it if you haven't lived it? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So much is going on. It's just so much. And I truly believe that that's why people have lost their faith, their hope, their dreams, their drive. And I know what it's like. Because, I, you know, I always like to bring that up because that was a rough time for me. When, when my father passed and his two brothers and my aunt, and last year was just a hard year. But it tested my faith. And, and truly, it pushed me closer to God. When you go through, that's when people learn about you. Somebody write that in the comments. When you go through, that's when everyone learn of you, who you really are in Christ. Because we, people are going to see it. They're going to see if you're going to break down, if you're going to go deeper into God. Are, are you, and I'm going here. Are you going to get? Are you going to go into uh, a relief? Drugs, alcohol, sex. Don't play. Don't play. I'm on, I'm on one this morning. Don't play. You know it's real. When people are hurting, anything for relief. Why do I spare relief? What do I do? Because I don't like hurt. I don't like pain. And that's what my life is going to be about later on. We have a generation. I'm going to give y'all a clue what it is. We have a generation that can't handle anything. That's why y'all seen murder, mayhem. Can't they can't handle what we used to handle. That's why I like old school, you can say what you want. They cannot handle what we used to handle and what we still handle today. Their, their minds cannot take it. Somebody disrespect me, I want to kill them. Somebody do this, I want to shoot them. Somebody do Even the older people, I'm going to break that thing out down. You know what we have today? We have a society of men, child, and women, child. And y'all wonder why this generation's lost. Hmm. Oh, you know I keep it real. I keep it 100 this generation can't deal because somebody dropped the ball. Our generation, we dropped the ball. Yes, we did. 
Because when we allowed everything else, you see, I don't want to get into my message, everything else to be God, <laughs> that's what started everything. Because now you're going to everything but God. Come on, I feel the power of God. Now you're going to everyone but God. I don't want to get into the message, but, but, but you're going to the motivational speakers that don't have God, most of them. Going to the life coaches. How can they help me with my life and their life is jacked? Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. I feel the power of God this morning. Y'all know when I'm fasting, what time it is. Hallelujah. And, 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 I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All these people that want to give advice and give advice, and yet they too Reese's Pieces from anything. Y'all heard me. We stop going to God. So now we've developed a generation that don't know God. And that's why they don't care about God. And that's why they don't respect God or anything of God. Money is their God. Social media is their God. Drugs, alcohol, sex, clothes, flesh. We got to go back and fix this thing, God says. We got to go back and fix it. How do you fix it, prophetess? We got to go back to God and ask him, what should we do? How should we do it? I've told y'all. I've said it, and I'm going to repeat it again. Every leader in every city needs to go in the middle of a city. In every city, it started from somewhere. Okay, let me, I'm going to go deep this morning. Every city has two things where it started from. And you have to go into the middle of the city. I did it in Abbeville, Louisiana. They have the, it's, it's called a square. And I'm going to go deep now. Something was buried in that square. Oh, let me go. I did my research. So I said, okay. They call it Warville. That little town. That little town just too much, okay? So I want to go deeper. God said, always go to the history. Because the history is not a mystery. When I found out it was a Frenchman. And it was always war on that land. War. Listen to what I'm saying. War. I said, oh, so that's why they have a spirit of war. You have to do your research on where you're located and see what spirit to come against. I guarantee you. I haven't did the, the um, background of Atlanta, but I am. Wherever there's Chicago, I guarantee you, whoever founded Chicago, you understand what I'm saying without saying it. It's all about territorial spirits. Who founded what? And what were they working with? Were they a man of God or a man of the devil? Period. Or a woman. It always goes back to history. That's why everybody wants to know where, what is your lineage. Jesus Christ come out of David, David lineage, right? Jesse. There's always a lineage to every spirit. But we live into a world where, oh, oh, that, oh you, it's too deep. And that's why we have a problem because you didn't go deep enough. Hallelujah. You didn't go deep enough. I, I, I'm going to tell you right now. We got to do better. As leaders. As keepers. Of the gospel. We have to do better. And the only way we can do better is by spiritual. Let me just break it down. If you are not anointed, it. You can't do anything. Because you're not, it, 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 that means you're not connected. And if you're not connected to the source, then how can you have a resource? People are trying to preach without the anointing, teach without the anointing, reach without the anointing. It cannot be done. So flesh will incorporate flesh. That's why Jesus says in the, in the um, scripture, he says, those that worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. Well, it, don't, it doesn't take all that. I don't care what you begin or end with. If it's not the spirit, it cannot be penetrated. Because flesh is of the devil and it's a mess. But if it is of the spirit, it will cut anything and cut anybody. Hallelujah. Because the spirit is real. The spirit is more real than the flesh, truth be told. That's why the enemy is trying to keep you from God. That's why the enemy tries to keep everybody busy, trying to build a kingdom, trying to build this, trying to build that. I am not saying that God does not want us blessed. But I can guarantee you that foundation must be stand and stern and firm. If there is not a foundation, this will take you, that will take you, everything will take you. But when you have a foundation, 
I'm, I always come back to God. Even if I stray, I come back to God. Even if I go, I'm coming back to God. But it can't be a here and a there. It has to be a every day. James 1, 8 and 9 says, I mean, I'm sorry, Joshua 1, 8 and 9 says, meditate in this book of the Lord day and night. And then you will make your ways prosperous. And then you would have good success. This is real. Every day you wake up. Father God, thank you for waking me up. What, what do you want me? What is my assignment today? That's what you're supposed to ask. God, somebody put that in the comments. What is my assignment? Every day you have an assignment. You don't just get to, well, I want to make money or I want to make honey and funny. The devil is a lie. So are you. That's that If you're living like that, I don't care. I, I, I'm on one. Doesn't even matter. The truth is the truth is the truth. The Bible says, for where your heart is, that is your treasure. I try to have a balance. Because that's how God wants us to live. And Matthew 6.33 says, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, and then everything else should be added to you. That's it right there. Matthew 6.33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God. And that's what we stop doing as a nation, as a people. As a people of God, we stop doing that. We're more into social media and, and what's this one doing and that one doing. Instead of seeking him that can help them. Hallelujah. All right, I got to go. I will be back because um, I got to get more into that message. Y'all. It's going to cut deep. It's going to cut deep too. The enemy... <laughs> well, y'all know, because I'm very transparent. I guess some pe some people, I think I hear it in the spirit too. She 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 tell all her business. No, I tell you everything that's going on to let you know that God is with me. Yeah, He did this. Yeah, He allowed this. Yeah, this happened. Yeah, that happened. But look at me, Hallelujah! You can't stop a child of God when it's God. I'm reminded of Paul. Not comparing myself to Paul, but likewise, when you truly anoint it. He could he throw in the kitchen sink at you. He, he's sending assignments. He's sending people. And, and it behooves me how people don't know that I don't, thinking that I don't know who they are when they come into my life or when they come into my circle or when they try to do this. So that don't you know that God's going to wake me up and tell me who you are? And, and let me tell you how real it is. Sometimes you say, let it happen. Oh, hallelujah. You hear what I say? He said, let him get close. <laughs> yes, he do. Yes, he do. But watch him, D. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm just talking. I'm just. God is real. God has your back. If no one else have your back, I'm telling you. Devil been trying to take me out. This, this stuff ain't, isn't hasn't just started. I've been going through this since 1996 when He called me, Hallelujah, and ordained me and sustained me. I've been going through. Trying to kill me, trying to discredit me, trying to do this, trying to do that. And the Bible says, a just man falls seven times and rise back up. Our woman. I said all that to say, Matthew 6, 33 is real. But seek ye first the kingdom of God. You put God first and God will have your back to the day you die. He never said you weren't going to go through anything. The devil is a lie. I don't know why. We, and you know, I'm going to address it now. I couldn't address it then. So, when I was going through what I was going through, um, I read one comment. <laughs> That's why I really don't read them. I really don't. I stopped because of this. Um, well, ask God what you're doing wrong and this and that. I just deleted it. Why don't you ask God since you know so much? You don't walk my walk. You can't talk my talk. Hallelujah. You didn't hear what I just said. I know the enemy sends people to say things and to do things. I've learned to just... You know how they said, let it roll off your back like a duck? <laughs> but it behooves me how the enemy tries to send people to make you think that God is not with you. I am reminded of David. Come on. Even in, in David's wrongness. And he was wrong with Bathsheba. He's still going to be our king in the new Jerusalem. I'm reminded of Joseph. Joseph did nothing, and look at the things. That's the intense character building. There are times when God will take you through things that other people might think you deserve or don't deserve. But God knows what he's doing. He's training you mentally, 
physically, spiritually, emotionally, financially, so that you can stand where he's really taking you. Come on, somebody. It's destiny. It's about destiny. It's about destiny. In order to get to destiny, you're going to have to go through some stuff. Oh, yeah. To make sure that you are thoroughly trained. Why do you think people fall? They skip the process. It's too hard. It's too, it's too. To me, it's harder to, to keep doing the same thing over and over. And, and that's insanity. But if I got to go through to get through, hallelujah, then that's God all by himself. Hmm. Yes. So let me get up out of here. But I'm going to tell you something right now. It's praying time like never before. I'm telling you, be mindful of the, what you say in this hour. Be mindful of how you treat people. Be mindful of what you're doing. Because God is watching. Be mindful of mistreating people. I don't know why I keep saying that one. You people are real, saying that you better be careful. Especially if they are anointed man and woman of God. You, are, you better be very careful. Because we're living and we're coming to a time where God is going to answer. And you prefer me to try to answer you than God. <laughs> Let me lead you with that scripture, what he says. Touch not my prophets, touch not my anointed. That's, it. that's everybody that's anointed. And do my prophets no harm. Do you really think he's just saying that? <laughs> that's a scripture. He allowed it to be written for a reason. So you don't have to answer it. You don't have to answer it back. All you got to do is stand and watch the salvation of the Lord. Because it's not just double for your trouble. It's favor in this hour. God said, I'm going to bless you. I'm going to heal you. I'm going to deliver you. I'm going to reveal you. You know how you try to make things happen? Connections and this and that. In this season, you don't have to do anything but stand and be ready, God says now. Because a lot of us, we pray and we ask and we seek. And then when it's your time. Oh my God, you're not ready. Well, I'm reminded of the last um, example, and I'm going to get off, off of here. The five wise virgins and the five foolish ones. The five wise, when they had their oral, they were ready. The foolish ones, I, I, I just buy some on the way. You don't know what's going to happen on the way. <laughs> and then you're going to come and ask me for my, you, you're not getting mine. Mm-mm. Well, just give me a little bit. Nope. You didn't put in on this. <laughs> so God bless you. God keep you. And I'm telling you, we better pray for one another. Again, this is the second day of the 21-day Daniel fast. If you're not on it, you should join. Well, I, I don't know, but you better know about something. Because it's hot out here. <laughs> it's hot out here. And without God, it's going to be hotter. Hallelujah, hallelujah. All right, y'all know what time it is. Roll out so, just for that is truly who we are. This is General Prophetess Deanna Dixon. Make it a blessed day in the Lord. God bless.